book lovers, it is G Swizz here and I'm here today with some books that I want to read in the second half of the year. <laughs> If you didn't know this is a seven on Sunday topic, I will link my Goodreads page down in the description. And yes, of course, guys, I'm very much aware that I did a winter TBR video. That turned out well. I, I really liked that one. What on earth am I saying? <laughs> okay, this is the point that I was getting to. I'm going to try not to mention any of the titles that I mentioned in that video because I don't want to sound too repetitive because there's some other books that I also want to read besides those winter TBR books. And I want to kind of read those winter TBR books in winter. But this TBR stack is more like the long-term goal of 2020. So without further ado, I guess we can say let's get started with the list. Actually, when I think about it, I don't even remember whether I mentioned this book in that TBR video or not, but I'm just going to bring it up right now. Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. No, you know what? I think that I've actually mentioned this in my winter TBR video. But anyway, I kind of wanted to read this book since it came out. When I say kind of, I mean like I was in the state where I wasn't reading anything, you know, that anhedonic state that I am so happy that I don't experience experience as often as I used to. Regardless, I still experience it sometimes, but it's not as heavy as it used to be, meaning that my mind does not abandon reading as a whole. Because then my mind comes to discover sometimes that I actually still really do love to read, and I'm slowly starting to bond that relationship with reading again. And yeah, it's just a process of healing. This has been a challenge that I've had to overcome by psychology and a lot of other methods. Anyway, I'm pretty much talking about it because I had a psychology appointment this morning. It's kind of like fresh in my brain to kind of talk about and rant about. I knew about Margaret Rogerson's writing before I wanted to read An Enchantment of Ravens so badly beforehand and then all of a sudden when I went through a huge year of just not being able to read due to the lack of serotonin in my brain it just felt so weird I didn't know whether I wanted to read Sorcery Forms anymore it seemed appealing and my friends were talking about it but I did not have the urge to read because I didn't enjoy the act of reading I did not enjoy new stories and it was really sad and now that I think about it I am so excited to read this book everyone and their mother was talking about it ages ago and I missed the hype train because of unfortunate circumstances. But I'm really excited to get into it because this is a fantasy and I'm pretty sure, I don't know if the main protagonist is a librarian or she loves the library. But what I do know is that I've started this book at some point and there was a library involved. And now that I have been enjoying reading and I've been enjoying books, I love the library and I miss it. I hear nothing but great things about Sorcery of Thorns. People wish that it was a series, but they're pretty satisfied with this one standalone. So I'm hoping that I will be as well. This next one, I think I'm gonna be grilled about a lot because I do kind of mention that, yeah, I'm caught up to Shadowhunters, but then I realize that I'm kind of not. I have not read this book in particular. I feel a little bit ashamed. A lot of people say that it is a very good book and it feels like it is within the actual Shadowhunter series. This book right here, The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. I actually waited to get a physical copy of this before I read it, and I have not read it yet. I'm really excited to read it, and I've actually pre-ordered the Red Scrolls of Magic Illumicrate box, which includes a hardback of the new cover of um, the Red Scrolls of Magic, and I'm really excited for that. Like I said previously, and it ties very well into this point that I'm just about to make about why I didn't read it. Anhedonia. I struggled with wanting to buy books, and I struggled with wanting to read books, even if they were from... <coughs> Dang. I swallowed wrong guys. Trust me. I got tested and I'm negative Even if my favorite authors were the people to have written books and for them to be released I would still either read them and not like them. See case for um, Kingdom of Ash I didn't like Kingdom of Ash that much because I was going through Anhedonia at the time that I read it Or it just wouldn't buy the books because I just didn't care I would have bought this edition straight away if I cared and I really wish I did care because I just didn't enjoy reading I didn't enjoy book buying. I didn't enjoy the hype anymore. It kind of makes me sad to think about because I feel like I missed out on a year of my life because I just didn't enjoy the things that I loved. I'm very happy that that only really stung for a year because I know a lot of people have to endure it for the rest of their lives anyway. Sorry, I, um, I'm sidetracking once again, but I'm thankful that I'm really excited about Cassandra Clare's works again. I'm really happy that I enjoyed Chain of Gold. I've enjoyed The Ghost of the Shadow Market and The Ghost of the Shadow Market really encouraged me to pick up the series and I heard that the series was going to be kind of like a separate take in the Shadow Hunter Chronicles, but wasn't actually gonna really interconnect. That's what I thought, but apparently it really does. I remember the publisher kept on saying it's just gonna be an adult Malik trilogy. I was thinking to myself, is it gonna be like contemporary like where it just follows, you know, them being wholesome, but apparently it's a lot different than that. So that's what I have to expect. The next book that I want to read will be a book that I've been saying for a while that I've wanted to read. And I think it's about time that I get to it because I'm pretty sure that the final book is gonna come out this year, maybe, I don't know, if it 
is gonna be a trilogy is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I've been saying for years that I've wanted to read this book. In fact, you know what's very funny? This is probably the newest release book that I didn't read, but I had just started to experience symptoms of anhedonia. So for the longest time of me staring at my bookshelf, I would think that Skyward was the very new release and it was like the most hyped book ever and that everybody was reading it and was still new. And then when I got back to reading, I realized, you know, the sequel's out now and it's not new at all. This is a very old book. To me, I think that this is a new release because this was probably the last release I bought when I was excited about reading. When I was on the high of buying books. I remember my last book order that year was literally around 20 books and this was included. I got really excited about it, but I just never read it. This all being said, I hear that this series is really good. I haven't really heard one bad or negative thing about this book series. I don't have too much else to say except that I want to read it because it's a sci-fi that sounds really cool and it's always sounded really cool to me. I've just never really given it a chance, you know? So I'm gonna bring up a book that I've been saying that I've wanted to read for years on my booktube channel. Every single time like one of these topics come up, TBR books, I mentioned this book. It just hasn't happened yet. I started listening to the audiobook like I'd say two years ago and I stopped paying attention to it. Of course I did. Guys, that is Want by Cindy Pond. Yes, I want to read this book. I mentioned a billion times I wanted to read this book because Veronica Roth has blurbed it and also because everybody loves it. It's a complete duology. Everyone's been raving about it for years and I feel like I'm just hyping it up for myself. But it's funny because I know that the first book not everybody really likes and then the second book everybody loved the conclusion of. So I guess you can say that's what I'm going to expect. But I was pretty excited to purchase this book series. I'm hoping that 2020 is not one of those years where G Swiss has said that she's going to read Want. And she never did. The next book I want to pick up by the end of this year will be A Crown of Wishes by Roshani Chokshi. I loved The Star Touch Queen and apparently everyone says that A Crown of Wishes is so much better and some people actually go reading A Crown of Wishes without reading Star Touch Queen because it's kind of a companion series. You don't have to read both of them if you don't want to because they follow two different siblings but they're in the same world. But I wanted to do the right thing and I wanted to read The Star Touch Queen before I read A Crown of Wishes. I don't regret that because I really did like The Star Touch Queen. I want to see what the hype's like for this book. Everyone was talking about it when it first came out. Also, everybody loves Roshani Chokshi. I've mentioned it previously. They love her for Gilded Wolves and Arusha and The End of Time. Also, everybody loves her for this reason, right here. I want to be in on that love. The second last book I decide to bring up right now is a book that I've actually started. And I really do kind of want to complete the trilogy by the end of this year. But let's just say this book first, you know, just to make sure that I am not too intimidated. That's the book that everybody is currently reading right now. It's the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. I purchased this book series literally around two years ago. I got really excited for it and I just never picked it up afterwards because there were so many series trying to compete for my attention. But I bought it two years ago. I've wanted to read it ever since and considering my reading tastes have kind of evolved into a more mature reading taste, I think that I will be able to overcome this series. I've heard that it's very confusing at times from my friends, but they say that it is so rewarding once you get through it. This all being said, I also want to give another book a shout out from the same author. I really want to read The City We Became, which is the book that they've just released. I've wanted to read that one since it came out. I saw the premise. I'm like, shut up and take my money, even though I don't have it yet. I need to buy it, dang it. I'm really just caught between buying the large paperback or buying the hardback right now. I want to prioritize reading them this year. And even some of the backlist titles on my TBR, I also want to read. This is like a backlist trilogy on my TBR that just has to be read. I promise I'm not doing it because everyone else is doing it right now. But when I went to a party, I think two weeks ago, with my bookish friend, I think all of us were talking about N.K. Jemisin and they were just recommending this trilogy to me and I just could not get their recommendations out of my my head. That's why I'm talking about it right now. That's a big deciding factor in why I wanted to pick up the series by the end of the year. It was more because of the conversations that we personally had about it. Hopefully I can have more conversations about it without being afraid of being spoiled because I'm in for a ride. And the final book that I want to read by the end of this year is a book that I've wanted to read for a while, but I refused to buy. And the reason why I refused to buy it was because of a petty reason. I mean, I would have listened to the audiobooks and probably not keep a physical copy. The reason why is because I hate the covers. And then all of a sudden, some sort of anniversary edition decided to come out and they will be periodically coming out throughout the year and I'm really excited for it because this is one of my favorite authors ever now because I've recently gotten into one of their newest series the series that I'm just about to mention a lot of people love but a lot of people adore this author for and so I decided I wanted to give it a shot I also decided to purchase the book because the covers changed <laughs> I know petty reason but like now I can really enjoy having them on my shelf without them looking horrible yes guys I'm talking about the Iron Face series by Julie Kagan 
Noah. Like I mentioned, everyone and their mother was into the series ages ago, but I hate, I absolutely despise the old covers. I really do not like them. I don't know, they just never really looked appealing to me. Because you know, I have the new Sarah J Maas paperbacks. Maybe my opinion just doesn't count. I've wanted to read this book series for a while, and like I said, could not get past the cover. So I decided maybe I was just not gonna buy them physically, but I was going to maybe listen to them on audiobook or maybe read them on ebook. And then when I saw that they were going to release a special edition of these books, they're the books right here. They will be coming out, I think, every two months from now. I was like, shut up and take my money. I wanted to read this series for a while. I love Julie Kagawa. I love her writing style. And I know that this is the series that a lot of people know Julie Kagawa for. And she's been continuously writing in this world. I've been told that the second series is not that good. So I don't know where I'm going to stand on that. But that being said, I at least want to read the first series because the way that she writes, to me personally, is cinematic. I can picture it. I can visualize it. I'm just going to get really, really hyped up for this series. So I'm probably just going to lower my expectations. I'm excited to have it. It's just so beautiful. If I don't stop raving about the cover, then this video is just not going to end. So I guess that's going to be it for this video today, book lovers. Let me know if any of our picks are similar. But let me know if you've also read any of these books and you have any comments or thoughts on it. You guys might be saying, oh, they're not really that good. Or maybe they're really good and you need to pick it up right now. I want to hear your opinions. Tell me down in the comments. If you liked the video that you watched today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And also, I have social medias. I'm at gswizzlebooks on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash gswizzle. I love you, book lovers, and I will see you later. Peace. How did I have when I flipped it in a double? How did I have when I flipped it in a double?